Yo, yo, yo. We back with part three. CJ's Matrix. The boy Zay TRD, Mr. Ooh, wait. And we doing this Kevin Samuels, you know, series. This part three of it. Um, reaction on on this guy and uh, his points and, you know, how he, really how he be handling people. For real, for real. That nigga wild as fuck. That nigga funny as shit. You know what I'm saying? This nigga harsh as fuck, but for the most part, I know I agree with a lot of the shit that he be saying. Yeah. So, but anyway, this one is called Are Modern Women Lazy When It Comes to Relationships? Let's find out. <laughs> so, single or not, do you want to be married? Absolutely. Hmm. Okay. Any children? I do not have children. All right. So, were mom and dad married? They were. All right. So, who's helping you figure all this out? Um, you. <laughs> Me? Really? You, my dad, yes. my aunt, my grandma. Yes. Okay. Are you in a serious relationship with anyone? No, not at the moment. When was your last serious relationship? <sighs> um, I want to say, what are we in? 21. Last one was in like 2019. And it was short lived. What's your longest relationship? Like a year and a half. A Why such short relationships? Um, I'm an artist. <laughs> um, <laughs> why you gotta shake your head? I'm an artist. Creatives. Yeah, creatives. Um, but really, um, I've been in uh, pursuing my uh, entertainment career since I was like fourteen. Well, really, like thirteen years old. So, what do you mean your um, entertainment career? And what? I'm an artist. I'm a singer, songwriter, performer. Um, so that's your first love. That's my first love. So music. you don't have room for her. you don't have room for a husband. Why do you say that? Uh, just based on your life. You so you're oh my god you're making me gag. <laughs> Why do you say that I don't have um weird. space for a husband? I have felt like that before, but I think the older I get, the more I realize um, that I don't want to be married to my career. Yeah, but do you have the skills to do anything else? Absolutely. Really? Where's yes. that show? Where's that been proven in your life? Um. I think it's been proven in the sense that I've been a caretaker. I mean, I've been no, no, pursuing no, no. music. No, to a man. See, if you're trying to interview to be a wife, I'm going to ask you what's your what's your what's your relationship experience, and you don't have much. That's true. So, I've had a lot of situationships, not a lot of well, relationships. So you're unqualified to be a wife. You think so? Just because you haven't it's had a, a lot job. of relationships. Well, were you raised to be a wife? I don't think I was technically raised to be You're, a wife. So any woman that says that I've been sort of focusing on my career, following my passion, whatever, whatever, is a woman that raises a red flag to most men. You're number one in your world. Mm. I could see I could see why that would be. See, the sadly, and I'm gonna say something. This may sting a little bit. Sadly, far too many artists fail at becoming successful. Then they think marriage is a backup. Men right. are men are backup plans. That's Men are primary right. option to deserve your best. Absolutely. Can you honestly say that? Can you honestly say that you have given me the uh, men in your life your best? I yes. Okay. Absolutely. So the um, last relationship you were in, at least the year and a half, who ended it? Actually, it was both. It, of it was not freaking mutual. <laughs> um. Okay. First, it was him. Then we got back together. Why did he end it? You're gonna get me, um, because <laughs> because I was very. We were both very young, um, but I was very much focused on my career at the time. Hey, you said you. How long ago was this relationship? My most serious relationship. This was you like said, you said a year and a half. Yeah, that how was long ago, how years long ago. ago. Was right. So <laughs> everything I said has been accurate. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that. Um, that means it is what it is. I had a commander, though. That's the first interview where she actually asked, answered the questions. I mean, she gave a long answer, but she's the answer to the question. 
Yeah, the interest. Not yet. Don't come in the eyes yet. Oh, yeah. You got a whole more 10 minutes. It is. You're, un- you're unfit for what you want. I would, I agree with you. I agree with you on that. And that is why I have been taking the time to really work on myself on that side of my life. With because whom? you're right. I haven't with put whom? a lot of thought, of, with thought whom? into it. Until, whom? With, like, whom? with whom? Who are you working with? Well, I have been in therapy, but not yeah. for relationship stuff specifically. But I do feel like. Are, are you in still in therapy? Think, I'm sorry. Are you still in therapy? Absolutely. How long have you been in therapy? Um, I've been in. Th- well, I haven't been in this year, last year, and the year before. So about two years, I was in therapy before I had. But you're not. You said you're still in therapy, so you're not in therapy. Well, I had to what? take a break because of insurance issues. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking I had to about? Take a break. You just said you said you're still in therapy. You're not. Well, that's I just ma'am. This is she's lying. Thought you gotta go quite frequently. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't come in it too soon, man. I told you. Literally five seconds and she's on a line. You ready? Mm-hmm. No, ma'am. No, there's no, no, ma'am. No, 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 no. Words mean things. It's almost June. And you said you're in therapy, implying that this is still ongoing. It turns out you haven't been in here all year. Yeah, okay. it's been a while. So, yeah, so you're not in therapy. You just want to see. I'm concerned how, how casually women lie these Fine days. intention. Well, was I wasn't. Like- what did I say? He said, but hold it. Did you just hear what you just said? No, I didn't. I wasn't lying intentionally. <laughs> it was, I accidentally lied. There's no such thing as an accident lie. A white lie is still a lie. A lie is a lie. I don't care how little or how big it is. Or how severe or not severe it is. A lie is a lie. I'm going to tell my other two is all right. It's okay to lie as long as it's on accident. She going to look at me like, and she motherfucking six years old. She going to be looking at me like, what? <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't was, was intentional or not. It was, it was not. It was not factual. You know, you ain't been to therapy in 2021, so that means I'm not in therapy. And you know, if I'm not in therapy, if therapist. you no, I'm not playing these games. This is another part of the reason why women are so unfit for relationships. Y'all play slick and loose with words. Words are used to express reality, not create reality. And far too many women use words to create reality. You're sitting here trying to play reality games in front of everybody. What man wants to deal with that? I have been in therapy for an extended period of time. In 2021, I stopped. I know that now. I know that now because I've had to peel back the onion. But what I'm saying in a normal interaction, you would have given the wrong information to somebody. My point is, ma'am, therapy or no, the fitness to be inside of a relationship. You need to be coming to the table to bring something. Women like you come and take stuff. What is a man going to get from you outside of sex? Well, one thing that I've learned being around a lot of men is that um, they don't always get heard. They're not always listened to. Um and they're not always nurtured in the way that women naturally. What was nurture. the question I asked you? <laughs> the question that you asked me is that what I would be given to mm-hmm. a man. Right. So I'm getting to that is the nurturing aspect and the being able to be a listener and actually take what I'm hearing and apply it. Like, I think that's something that a lot of young women my age. Where did you have. learn this skill? I learned this skill from, I think. Um, how long? Have you, how long have you had this skill? Should I say? Um, I 
think I've always kind of had that skill, like as mm-hmm. far as lean forward, lean forward, li- li- lean forward a little bit. Lean forward. Uh huh. Let me go ahead. Yeah. See, if you had that skill to listen and respond and apply, your first boyfriend or one you were with for a year and some change wouldn't have said you were too focused on your career. Because I'm quite sure. No, but you said you've had this. You said you've had this. You said you've had this skill for a while. I was a lot younger. No, 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 no. You guys just saw what just happened, right? I asked her how long you've been aware of this, and I and I asked you how long you've been. I've had this for a while. That implies it was you should have had it then, and it didn't work then. Yeah, but that's the thing. I learned since then. Absolutely. That's not what you said. This is not what you said. Well, I'm correcting myself. Since then, after creating, after creating, you're, you're creating, creating, learn, creating reality. No. Creating that's a reality stone. Mm-hmm. Creating reality yeah, with words. No. <laughs> okay, you let the comment section tell you. I mean, they can they can say that, but I'm I telling you, ma'am. I'm telling you, ma'am. I'm telling you how I'm, I'm telling you how I'm experiencing you right now. That you're trying to create reality with words, and I'm asking you very straightforward questions, and you contradicted yourself multiple times in your life. When you I'm ask, just, I, ma'am, ma'am, listen, listen. I'm just reflecting back what I'm getting from you. I'm mirroring you, and what you're getting is conflicted, confused answers. I'm being very direct. I know exactly why I'm saying what I'm saying. You're creating reality. Just like you create a reality that you're still in therapy and you're not. Just because you're in touch with a therapist doesn't mean you're in therapy. Okay. You got some nice teeth, though. And I'm going to say that's a chaotic mind. Oh, I absolutely have a chaotic and, mind. Okay. And, no that, 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 and, that's, that, and that means you're unfit. They put them both in this part. Peace. Men no, want peace. No, nope, men want peace. I disagree that that's okay. You can you can you can disagree, but what is your, your men want cooperation and peace? Right, absolutely. Okay. But mm-hmm. I don't think that you can. Um, I don't think that disqualifies you from being capable from being capable of having peace or creating a peaceful environment. Because that's the point of me going to therapy. Because I know that you I you don't I think it's you, you don't think you don't you don't think. That disqualifies you from creating a peaceful environment, having a chaotic mind. Absolutely not, because there's something called meditation. You uh-huh. learn and, and, how and, to. And what you're your saying, uh huh, right, right. And what you're saying is a man should put all his chips and bet on you as a wife that you got that ability. Well, right now, where I am in my life, maybe not. But okay, when you gonna I be ready? The when you gonna be ready? When you, when you gonna Absolutely. be ready? When you gonna be ready? That's a good question. I gave mm-hmm. myself until my birthday, which is in October. Really? So yes. you're not in, you're not in therapy right now. You're not in any kind of coaching or self improvement. Just watching YouTube. Videos. I actually am getting coaching with who? I'm in coaching with a how long? business how long? marketing. Okay, but that ain't got you to do. But see, creating reality. We're talking about relationships, and you talking about business. But but all of Listen, that. All stop. Of that goes no, together, no, to absolutely, me. French toast not. This ain't really? French toast not. Creating reality, you cannot make this shit up. Creating reality, you so said. You, you listen, listen. You said you gave yourself until October, and you're not doing a mother flipping thing about it. You're not in therapy. You're in business marketing training or coaching. That's your priority. Like I said, your business, your passion is your business. You're unfit, and you're not doing the damn thing about it. So you just think by October. It's going to fit itself. Wrong. <laughs> no. This is why you guys need to ask thorough questions of women and get them to answer. Let Ask the question three levels deep. Ma'am, I, I've only asked you direct questions. Are you doing anything today that's improving your interpersonal romantic relationship skills? I believe what, okay, what that are you I doing? am. That's what I'm trying to what explain. What are you doing? Lies. What she's doing is building her uh, business marketing. She you know it's just, how she gonna be able to stop that? It's just like having male friends if you try to do that. So what? Anyway, <laughs> like she ain't doing nothing. I agree with you on that. You lost me with the other business marketing shit. <laughs> <laughs>
Because <laughs> how she gonna build if she never had a relationship? A serious one at that. That's what he said. He said she unqualified to be a wife. Cause yeah. she, he said it's like a job. If she ain't got no experience, how how can she be qualified for the job? She ain't got right. no experience. Right. You feel me? Yeah. I, which it, I agree. It takes work. I agree, and I think that's why most most marriages suck because the man or the female, man or the wife, what man or the woman, they ain't qualified. You know what I'm saying? That's a different type of different day, but anyway. I'm gonna start preaching anyway. Yeah, you <laughs> is. Yeah, what are you doing? I think that like, me working on myself as a person. How are you working on how are you working on yourself? When I'm developing a brand or a business, I'm actually I'm sorry, but <laughs> 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 Let her have it, say. Let her have it, say. She was talking about the brand and a business, and she ain't talking about nothing different relationship. Like she's ducking the whole topic. That's why she's not fit. Denial and lies. This is like like Lion King said. She can't hold a relationship, so how the fuck she gonna hold a marriage? Right. This sex song. She she creating. She creating what she says. She creating reality. Yeah, she creating reality. Yeah. We having to ask myself questions about who I am and what I want for myself and what she I want for my future. Those she things all are gonna she contribute to the she people She doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. You don't get. No, it doesn't. And that's the sad part. See, I this is this is a. I'm gonna say something to me sting a little. This is lazy. I disagree, though. I don't care if you disagree. You're uh, that's fine. I'm just saying you can, you can disagree, but I, I will tell you this is a lazy approach. To this is what the, exactly listen is about. Listen, you're not doing a mother flipping thing about interpersonal relationships, and you're trying to say because I'm getting some business coaching that these are transferable skills. Well, that's the same thing when people come through the door and have a conversation with me, and I'm doing great in my life. In my professional life, but I suck in my personal life because those skills don't map over. But see, women have been allowed to be lazy thinking, well, I'll just kill two birds at one stone. I'll put my money into business coaching and just through osmosis or it'll all translate. I'll be a better wife or a girlfriend because I'm learning brand building and marketing. French toast out of here. I do have a question though. Well, no, I did you hear what I said? Did so you hear what, what I said? Did you hear what I said? I did. You said that, that it's not transferable skills. So I, I understand. Um, but I do have a question for you. Um, so what do you what would you recommend to some women like me who is willing to listen and to learn it? She ain't listen yet. She lying again. <laughs> she keep lying. Is she lying again? I don't think she's lying right here, but I'm saying she ain't listen like to have the whole thing. She said she wasn't to listen though. I know, but she so ain't she, listen. So she ain't listen. Yeah, she's lying right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But you talk like her right now because you just I just anyway, asked you that. Man. You said no. Nah. Anyway, you said nah. She ain't lying right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to see what she gonna say though. I don't know yet because she's still on the fence. She ain't got shit. She better say it quick. <laughs> she got a fucking minute. That's what you say to grow but maybe i don't know what to do because even though my parents were married most of the women in my family are not or they have you know whatever situation they have like they're always the what's alpha. your question what's your question the question is what would you recommend then like if i if i'm not supposed to be doing business marketing or doing self you know help things or personal development what would i need to be doing because i thought that doing work on yourself it's supposed to make you a better person. No, no, you're for a doing work. Okay. No, to doing get work. Into relationship, oh, you have to Jesus be a whole Christ! Person. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! H Christ! This is this is this is how far we've gone. This is why so many women think that because they go to school and get a goddamn PhD okay. that that makes them fit for a relationship. It doesn't. That's true. I agree with you on that. It don't. It don't qualify. <laughs> so the it first thing qualify. you need is self awareness to recognize how how bad off it is. That's true. You don't think it's as bad as it is for you. Oh, no. I know I'm in the danger zone. <laughs> no, no. Know you, you know you're... Zone. No, no, no. Every, every question I've asked you, 
You've underestimated or downplayed or overestimated. You've not been accurate in estimation of anything tonight. I disagree, but okay. I do. <laughs> look at the big face. Honestly. Look at his face. Now go home and get your fucking shine box. What the? Go home and get your fucking shine box. <laughs> that nigga is savage, bro. Hey, that's funny. Yeah, she was doing good for the first two minutes. After that, it was all downhill. <laughs> I thought she was gonna do good. I'm like, okay. Well, it's your boy CJ's Matrix. Your boy say T I D Mr. Ooh, wait. We're signing out. Stay tuned for the next one.